It's Jack from B&T McFarland. Today we're going over the pros and cons of getting a cab on your tractor. So let's get into it. Whether you're a first time tractor owner or an existing tractor owner, you guys can all agree that having a cab on your tractor is definitely a nice luxury, but it does come with a couple of drawbacks. So we're gonna make this video today to go into some of the pros and some of the cons to help you make the best decision possible when you're shopping around for a tractor. The first and most obvious benefit of going with a cab on your tractor is the comfort. These cabs are extremely comfortable, especially if you get them straight from factory. Like this L6060 behind me, it's got to be one of the most deluxe cabs that Kubota makes. So we can get the cabs on our tractors and even some construction equipment on your excavators, your skid steers, wheeled or tracked, and even wheel loaders. They can all come with cabs right from the factory. An added benefit of getting it right from the factory is it does come with the heater and the air conditioner and we always send them with a radio. So whether you're using this in the summertime, you're not going to have to sit out there in the excruciating heat or vice versa. Up here in Canada, it can get down to minus 30 and a lot of people use these for commercial snow applications. And again, all of the guys who do it for commercial snow do get a cab so you can be there in the nice warmth. There's even people that are actually sitting there, sitting in these in their hoodies while it's minus 30 blowing snow. And again, it's not just the heater and the air conditioner, it's just all kinds of the elements when you're outside using the cab, whether that be working in the bush and it's extreme black fly season, you're not gonna get eaten alive inside of this cab. Or if it's raining, a lot of people, they do store their tractors outside. And I know there's really nothing worse than waking up, getting ready for a long day of using your tractor. And then, and then you come to find it's pouring rain outside and you can't really use it in the pouring rain or your entire operator station is completely soaked. At least if you're storing it outside with the cab, it's completely protected from the elements. Another pro of getting the cab, it goes hand in hand with the comfort of the actual cab is the quietness. When you're operating in here, it's very therapeutic. The only thing you really hear while you're operating uh, a tractor with a cab on it is just the soft hum of the engine or whatever implement that you are using. Whether that be an implement on the front or the back, you can hardly hear it. And, and I know if you're using an open station tractor and you go to use that rear mower or even a mid-mount mower deck, wearing hearing protection is always advised because it does get very, very loud. But when you're inside a cab, you hardly ever need hearing protection. Another pro of going with a tractor or an excavator with a cab is the ease of reselling them. Not only will you get a little bit more money for your piece of equipment, they're also a little bit easier to, to, to sell. Generally, pieces of equipment with full factory cabs are more desirable than tractors or excavators that are open station, especially up here in Canada. I know in some uh, southern climates, open station tractors and excavators are really all that you see but up here in Canada with the harsher weather coming very soon it's a, it's the, almost the end of September and it's very cold out today um, becomes a lot more desirable to get that enclosed cab with a heater so you can work earlier in the season you can start your season around March or April and then you can also work later into the fall. Now we're going to go into some of the pros of owning an open station piece of equipment and naturally the pros of owning an open station are going to be the cons of having a closed cab and vice versa. The biggest one is the safety of it and what I mean by that is when you're working on a job site or even at your own property and you have an open station piece of equipment whether that be a tractor or this wheel loader here or an excavator and you have people working all around in front behind and you need to hear people talking to you physically talking to you on the job site or on the project that you're working on it's a lot easier to hear someone yelling at you while you're operating an open station open station machine rather than a closed cab if you have a closed cab you'll have people knocking on your windows and opening the door constantly opening closing it all the time telling you what you need to do at least if it's open if you have people working up in front of your bucket up there they can just talk to you right over the front of the machine so it makes it a lot safer to operate if you're using it in that application Keeping on the theme of noise and hearing things, not only are you gonna hear the people around you, but you're gonna hear whatever implement that you're using. If you're in that closed cab, it's really quiet. And if you're running an implement, not all the time you're gonna be able to hear how it's doing. So if you're running a brush hog back here, a snowblower, you can't always hear if you're hitting something you shouldn't be hitting or driving through some kind of field or driving through snow that is maybe a little bit too heavy duty for your tractor and it's actually starting to bog it down. 
A lot of the tractors, though, they are fancy and they do have a PTO. Uh, they'll tell you what speed your PTO is running on up there. So you can actually see if it's starting to bog down or your engine revs start to go down a little bit. But generally, you're going to hear it a lot sooner than you're actually going to see it pop up on your dash if something's starting to go wrong with your implement. Another advantage with going with an open station piece of equipment is the cost. They are generally significantly cheaper than going with a full closed cab. From our experience here, it's anywhere from about ten to $15,000 worth of savings that you're gonna get going with an open station model. And that doesn't just happen right at the point of purchase. It also carries on with the maintenance. If you're using a closed cab in the bush, be ready to buy some panes of glass because they do pop and they do pop pretty easily and break and they make a huge mess. And they're not the cheapest things in the world to replace, so you do have to spend or $500 to replace if you break a door off of one of your tractors. And then the maintenance cost as well, you do have to upkeep the filters inside of the cab and whatever else could go wrong inside of the cab. But it, that also does come at a huge luxury. You're sheltered from all the elements and there's really nothing that can bother you inside of the cab and you get the peace and quiet in there as well. And I thought we'd talk about an aftermarket solution. So there are aftermarket cabs you can add to open station tractors. So for example, here you have a BX23S. It doesn't come with a factory cab, but you can order an aftermarket cab, which are actually pretty nice. So that is another option to consider when you're actually shopping for a tractor, that these aftermarket solutions are possible and you can add them down the road. Uh, it doesn't have to be right at the point of purchase. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and if there's any pros or cons that I missed, make sure to leave them down below in the comments and if you need help with parts, sales or service, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.